Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Back with a video on software defined radio. And this video is going to be on SDR Angel. A uh, very good software that is available. Uh, it's available on all three uh, platforms, which includes Windows, Mac, and Linux. An amazing software. A lot of tools are there. You can play around with a lot of tools. Uh, so today we're going to use our software defined radio. And, and we're going to use that to actually perform uh, wideband FM demodulation and how easy it is to actually demodulate your FM signal using SDR Angel. It's a very simple process uh, and we're going to try to listen to some radio transmission as well uh, using our normal uh, SDR platform, you can use RTL SDR dongle, Blade RF. Uh, it ha it supports like all type of hardwares that are there, uh, specifically Hack RF, RTL SDR, Blade RF, and things like that. So when you open up your SDR Angel, for example, the one that I'm using, I'm using it on my Mac. Uh, the simple, the simplest way to actually do it, just open it up, and under here. If you go here, this is basically your receiving devices. So add a receiving device. You will see a pop-up like this. Uh, whichever hardware you have connected, just simply re, uh, I mean, refresh this, and you will see the hardware. The hardware that I have connected is HackRF. I'm, I'm also going to show it show it to you using RTL SDR dongle as well. Uh, so HackRF, just simply connect it. Click OK. By default frequency that you will see when you open up your SDR Angel is always going to be 435 megahertz. So we want to actually do an FMD modulation. So we have to choose the frequency within that range from 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz. That's the universal frequency allocation for FM uh, broadcast. So we're going to change our frequency. But in order to for you to perform demodulation, what do you need to do? Go here. It says add channels. So just hit here and you will see a pop-up that looks something like this. So you have all type of demodulators which are available at the receiving site. So simply go drop it down. You will see an ADS-B demodulator, AIS, AM, and so on. The list goes on. And you will go in to, these are all the demodulators which are available. You don't have to do anything. Just simply uh, choose the demodulator that you want. Uh, so I'm going to choose a wideband FM demodulator. This is the demodulator I'm going to choose. So just simply choose this and click apply. You will see a pop-up window that looks something like this. All right. So um, let me just move this a little bit on the side. Let me make this bigger so you can see the transmission. So this is what's going on now. All you need to do is change the frequency. Let's say, uh, so right now it's 435 megahertz. So I'm going to choose this to be around 94 um, megahertz. And I'm going to hit start. So this is the first thing that you will get. Now, you, you can see that you're not hearing anything uh, because your demodulation process already started. Let me turn on the volume as well. So you can see. But nothing is happening. So you need to play around with your LNA and VGA gain. So increase this gain. So you will start seeing those spikes and your VGA gain. All right. So you can see those spikes. So basically you're actually tuning and uh, playing around with the gain. And then now when you see your spikes, which are like visible, move this on the spike. So you can you can clearly hear you can clearly hear your demodulation and you can clearly hear what is being transmitted at 93.4 megahertz and this is what is being transmitted so so this is how simply you can demodulate your signal using SDR angel and your Hack RF. I've made several videos on this where you can use GNU radio as well to make a receiver, a wideband FM receiver. Uh, but this is just the easiest possible way. You can do it in a minute or so. So if you like this small tutorial, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I've been making a lot of videos on software defined radios. So please show your support by, by subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.